Isn't the goal of printing a graphic onto apparel to have it be seen? You can better serve your customers by asking them if they want their graphic visible from more viewing angles. One surefire way to increase the overall sales and to add customer satisfaction is to sell another print location on every garment sold. I'm John Locks with Stalls TV and today I'm going to teach you how to increase your sales by printing a variety of sleeves with heat transfers. Everyone's always looking to generate more revenue with their business. How about unique locations of decoration? You can do cuffs, sleeves, or even shoulders. Let's walk over to the heat press and decorate some items. And then we'll add our numbers. Make sure they're lined up well. Add our cover sheet. Make sure they don't move. Then we'll do our other side. Leave them on, thread it on, do our preheat, and add our numbers. Hold our paper so they don't slide. So if you're really thinking about doing a lot of sleeves, you might consider getting a specialty platen, which would include a leg or sleeve platen. So I'm gonna change this out into that leg or sleeve platen. has a quick slip cover on it. And a warm-up jacket is next. So I'll slide it over the top. It fits rather well. We're going to lay our print our cover sheet over the top of it. Quick little preheat and get our pressure correct. We have a CAD cut transfer that will go on the sleeve of this. We want to make sure it's in the right direction. with our cover sheet and apply. Peel, hold, peel warm transfer or peel hot. We don't want to do one side without the other so we'll add to the other side. Do our preheat. And add our transfer. I'm going to make sure it is facing the same direction. Add our cover sheet. Apply. Next, we're going to decorate a sweatshirt with the hottest new trend, which is distressed applique. We have colonials, 
written out in letters. I'm going to try to space these out the best I can, but first I need to preheat my garment, get all the moisture out, flatten it out. Now we can lay down our letters. I'm going to start about an inch or two from the top to make sure I can get the whole word in. Now it seems pretty straight to me, but I'm going to take this, use it as a guide real quick, and kind of just verify that I'm not going off into a crooked direction. Some people use rulers. Some people use cardboard cutouts. There's a variety of different items. So I'll apply. And our finished product. I'm going to show you one more option with uh, using this sleeve platen. Um, I've got a long sleeve shirt here, and we're going to put a Plastisol transfer over it. All right, first thing we're going to do, of course, cover sheet, preheat our garment. place our Plastisol transfer. Again, we want to make sure we're oriented the right direction. Placement is good. Plastisol transfers do not need the cover sheet. So I've put my standard size platen back on. And what I'm going to show you is we're going to do the other sleeve of this shirt with a pillow. Some people do not have the opportunity to switch out the platen. So a pillow works great here. So we're going to slide it down the sleeve, taking our seam out of play. Make sure we line it up correctly. Cover it with our cover sheet and preheat it. Again, this gives us the opportunity to adjust our pressure and make sure our pressure is correct. Here's our preheat. And being sure that we orientate this the right direction, we will apply it. Cover sheet. An application. This is a warm peel transfer. We'll give it a second. Go ahead and peel it. And remove our pillow. So the last application we used our pillow. Another option we have is a Print Perfect pad. This gives us the ability to go into small areas with a firm pressure. So I'm going to do a digital transfer on a t-shirt sleeve. And we'll get that seam out of play. So we'll put our Print Perfect pad in. And line it up accordingly. Do our preheat so we can adjust our pressure. And we're going to add a digital transfer. Line it up accordingly. 
cover sheet, and apply. This is a warm peel transfer. So we'll peel it up, fill our carrier, and this transfer requires a second hit. Now we have our digital transfer. Remove the print perfect pad. I got one final application. In the past decoration, we've used a print perfect pad. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a monogram to this shirt using a print perfect pad. This one's a little too big, so what I've done is I've cut another one up. So we'll go ahead and I'm going to unbutton the button, place my print perfect pad under my cuff. Cover with my cover sheet and adjust my pressure while preheating. Have a CAD cut monogram. Line it up accordingly. Cover with our cover sheet and apply. So I showed you how to decorate cuffs, sleeves, even shoulders with your heat press. Again, if you don't have a heat press capable of removable plans, there is accessories that can help you. Use these methods to generate more revenue for your business. I'm John Laux. This is Stalls TV. Thanks for watching.